I stay awake until the first glimmer of sun hits the horizon. I am afraid of the dark. No one to talk to. Only my own thoughts to live with. My mind goes to Let me ask you a question. You, you never really remember the beginning of a dream, do you? You always wind up right in the middle of what's going on. I guess, yeah. So how did we end up here? This is the world that you know. The world as it was at the end of the 20th century. It exists now only as part of a neural interactive simulation that we call the Matrix. You're reading a magazine, you come across a full page nude photo of a girl. Is this testing whether I'm a replicant or a lesbian, Mr. Deckard? Just answer the questions, please. How did you manage to access all this information? Electrical impulses. Every cell knows and talks to every other cell. They exchange a thousand bits of information between them per second. Cells group together, forming a giant web of communication, which in turn forms matter. Cells get together, take on one form, B form, B form. Makes no difference, it's all the same. Well, we just came from the, uh... Planet Ariadne, how did you get here? Where are you right now? We're dreaming. You're too fast. Do you believe that my being stronger or faster has anything to do with my muscles in this place? You think that's air you're breathing now? You're actually in the middle of the workshop right now, sleeping. This is your first lesson in shared dreaming. Stay calm. Humans consider themselves unique, so they've rooted their whole theory of existence on their uniqueness. One is their unit of measure, but it's not. All social systems we put into place are a mere sketch. One plus one equals two. That's all we've learned. But one plus one has never equaled two. There are, in fact, no numbers and no letters. We've codified our existence to bring it down to human size to make it comprehensible. We've created a scale so that we can forget its unfathomable scale. Would you step out for a few moments, Rachel? She's a replicant, isn't she? I'm impressed. How many questions does it usually take to spot? I don't get it, Tyrell. How many questions? 20, 30, cross-referenced. Took more than a hundred for Rachel, didn't it? She doesn't know. She's beginning to suspect, I think. Suspect? How can it not know what it is? You've been living in a dream world, Neil. But if humans are not the unit of measure, and the world isn't governed by mathematical laws, what governs all that? Commerce is our goal here in Tyrell. More human than human is our motto. Rachel is an experiment, nothing more. We have only bits and pieces of information, but what we know for certain is that at some point in the early 21st century, all of mankind was united in celebration. We marveled at our own magnificence as we gave birth to AI. AI. Artificial intelligence. A singular consciousness that spawned an entire race of machines. Film a car speeding down a road. Speed up the image infinitely. And the car disappears. So what proof do we have of its existence? Time gives legitimacy to its existence. Time is the only true unit of measure. It gives proof to the existence of matter. Without time, we don't exist. <laughs>